hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel once again with the new video and new topic so first of all subscribe my channel and press the bell icon uh, for more updates today our topic is how to calculate the external static pressure in uh, your duct system and uh, how to use this external static pressure for the selection of AHU and uh, exhaust air fan and supply air fan so watch this video till end I will uh, define uh, different parameters so what is external static pressure external static pressure is actually the pressure that is used to overcome the pressure losses in your duct system like you can see this is the uh, return air duct already here is the mouthpiece here is the straight duct so this mouthpiece have some pressure losses and this stair duct has also some pressure losses and this elbow, uh, elbow is also sorry elbow and this uh, transition uh, have also some uh, pressure losses this stair duct and this transition that is the reducer this flexible this volume control damper there may be filters there may be uh, different uh, accessories so these all are considered to be obstruction in the path of airflow so all obstruction creating some pressure loss in a path of airflow so these uh, pressure losses uh, in these fittings are ex is uh, are considered to be external static pressure so if you just calculate these all pressure losses in your duct so this pressure losses will be your external static pressure so you just need it to calculate for your supply duct as well as return air duct like your fan is connected with supply duct and return air duct so you just need to calculate the pressure losses in supply duct and the return air duct and just add both of them to get the total external static pressure of the AHU or exhaust air fan or supply air fan uh, so we will start from this excel sheet this this one uh, I will uh, share with you uh, to calculate the external static pressure for external static pressure you just need the uh, supply airflow or exhaust airflow or return airflow and the size of the duct length of the duct and the fitting loss coefficient so like uh, you are uh, providing 20,000 CFM through 1500 by 800 duct that is straight duct so and uh, this length is 0 0.3 so it will be 0 0.08 loss of coefficient which is defined by the ashray for 100 feet of duct you will just put the 0 0.0 hit air if it's exceed from 100 feet then you just need to calculate from the handbook uh, so here we are using 100 uh, below 100 feet duct so we are using 0 0.08 fitting loss coefficient and we will uh, uh, calculate for transition elbow and elbow with damper and volume control damper uh, and then filter supply diffuser <coughs> so first we will start from the elbow it's the uh, uh, ashtray handbook of 2009 for the rectang rectangular fitting losses so uh, here is the c naught is equal to kcp this is this c naught is your this value so you just calculate the C naught from the ashtray handbook and just put it here. So for this you just need the uh, size of the duct, CFM, that is the airflow and the length of the duct. So how to calculate it? Like we have elbow of uh, which size? Like here we have elbow of 600 by 400 elbow and 2000 CFM is passing from this elbow and its length is 0 0.5 meter. So we need to calculate its Lo uh, fitting loss coefficient which will give the external static pressure we we just need to add these inputs in green and the red will be our answers and we, we your will be will be our results so we are doing this for return air duct and uh, you can put all of the fitting uh, loss coefficient here and then it will give you result here and your total external static pressure at the last so I will show you how to calculate it uh, here <coughs> the equation is C naught is equal to KCP how to calculate the CP value so for CP value you need you need H by W what is H H is equal to H is your height and W is your width of the duct or your elbow uh, like we are using the 600 by 400 elbow 
which is the 600 height and 400 width so, so just divide divide the 600 divided by 400 you will get the 1.5 so you have just select the 1.5 here which is the h by w that is 1.5 and you need to calculate the r by w here the radius of the duct is r and w is the width of the duct so r by w our uh, radius of the duct is 350 and width is 400 so it will give you 0 0.875 which is in between the 0 0.75 and 1 so you will just select the 1 and 1 1.5 so in 1 1.5 and 1 you will get 0 0.19 so 0 0.19 will be your CP value you will put CP here and then you need to calculate the K value so cal for calculation the K value you will use this table for this you just need the angle of the elbow this is the 90 degree elbow you will just select the 1 if you have 75 degree elbow you just select the 0 0.95 for 60 and blah blah so uh, we are using 90 degree elbow so just select the 1 and put it here and multiply by the CP we have just calculated from here that is 0 0.19 and you will get the result of 1 multiplied by 0 0.19 which is 0 0.19 you will just put the uh, value of 0 0.19 here and the rest of will calculated by its own uh, by the excel sheet <coughs> now the elbow with damper how uh, sorry for uh, elbow with veins how to calculate it if you have uh, elbow with veins so here is the equation same equation c naught is equal to kcp here you will uh, also uh, calculate the CP value by H by W, R by W and you will get some value and then select your angle like you have you are using 90 degree elbow you just select 1 and 6 then multiply K with CP value you will get the C naught and just need to put it here like it's uh, for example it's 0 0.15 and then for volume control damper how to calculate for volume control damper the criteria is same actually I want to sh uh, show you uh, what are its basic uh, criteria so this equation is uh, almost same for all and uh, different for this type of uh, um, uh, different fittings like this is meter elbow here C naught is direct your fitting loss you just don't need to calculate it here like uh, here you just need to calculate CP value R by W C naught value is your fitting loss coefficient so you just need to calculate this C naught here how to calculate C naught H by W and angle of your uh, this uh, duct so if you are using 45 degree angle and 2 is H by W so it will be your 0 0.31 so direct put this 0 0.31 in excel sheet you will get the ESP and again this is uh, <coughs> for other fittings now uh, for this Z shape Z shape is also C naught is equal to KCP you just need to calculate CP and K from CP you just need L by W length of this uh, Z fitting that is elbow Z, Z shaped and H by W you just need uh, to calculate L by W H by W you will get some value from here and here then select the CP value and multiply by the K from this table you will get the K value which at which uh, radius uh, at, at which Reynolds number correction factor you are using here and what are the uh, supply air flow so you will just get the KR value if it's 10 if it's 20 if it's 30 what is your Reynolds number so just uh, divide the Reynolds number divided by thou, uh, hundred, uh, thousand you will get this value and then you can calculate the KR so it's depend upon your CFM it's depend upon your uh, size of the duct how much uh, turbulence it's creating and uh, maybe it's uh, laminar flow it's maybe turbulent flow so these correction factor will be different and this is the direct C naught value if you know the R value you know the AT by A naught so you just easily calculate the C naught value for uh, this uh, screen only <coughs> uh, fittings so how to calculate the A naught A naught is the area of the duct I just uh, 
uploaded the video about the how to calculate the area of the duct you can check here and it is the cross sectional area of the duct or fitting where screen is located like here screen is located you just need to calculate this area so divide both area 80 by uh, a naught you will get the value from here and then uh, n value and just uh, calculate the n value and you will get the c naught value so c naught value will be your fitting loss and there are a lot of uh, other uh, fittings and their calculation if you have any problem you can just ask me so i am unable to calculate all of them for you people uh, the video will be so long so uh, here is the volume control damper volume control damper you just need uh, two things one is uh, the angle at which the uh, the uh, throttle or the disc or the butterfly uh, disc is opening so if you are uh, using the uh, volume control damper at uh, 30 degree so you will just select here 30 and if it's open at 40 degree it may be open at 50 degree it depends upon your need so if it's uh, um, open at 30 degree so just select 30 and what is the height and width of the uh, volume control damper like here you can see our volume control damper is 600 by 400 so divide just uh, 600 divided by 400 you will get the 1.5 value so at 30 degree 30 degree and 1.5 you will get 3.6 so 3.6 will be your fitting loss coefficient so you have just put 3.6 here and the rest of will calculated by its own so use this method and uh, putting put the uh, fitting loss coefficient and you will get the result here use this for the supplier duct return air duct or uh, like uh, you have fan that is connected with only supplier duct and the, op the the return is open so you just need to calculate the uh, external static pressure of the supplier duct you don't need to calculate for the return air duct or if you are using the exhaust fan for exhaust fan you just need to uh, calculate the uh, duct only for uh, 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 exhaust uh, duct like there is a room in room there is a terminals terminals with exhaust duct you just need to calculate the external static pressure for these if you have a duct outside you can also calculate for this the criteria is same for all uh, so this is the standard method uh, by ashray uh, these are all other fittings you can calculate it and here it have also uh, the fitting losses for round duct this is for the uh, that I have discussed is for the rectangular duct and these fittings are for the round duct so basic criteria is same for all and uh, you just need your drawings and your fit uh, and your uh, duct so just calculate it if you got the result like this uh, like it's uh, 936 Pascal for example 936 pascal and uh, these are some notes i have written here uh, from the asha handbook 2009 fitting coefficient uh, friction coefficient for duct fitting and pressure losses so these are uh, uh, references here and this is the some sample calculation i just put in the uh, excel sheet uh, you can also concern uh, this uh, sheet here so uh, like i get the uh, 936 so 936 pascal is our external static pressure and uh, like our total cfm is 20000 so we just select the fan and just we just got the uh, provide the information to the manufacturer so we have 936 external static pressure uh, 936 pascal and 20000 cfm so just we need this type of air uh, fan so they will provide uh, such type and at last uh, this one I will make another video how to calculate the external static pressure by the static pressure calculator this is the most easiest method or you may call it a thumb rule I will share it in the next video thank you for watching